we have a four tractors here, uh, two of these new ones and two older ones. Versatility of the tractor is very good. We use tractors in many ways. We can have both summer and winter uses, cutting grass, plowing snow, uh, brushing snow and using uh, all kinds of special attachments. Of course, tractor is very capable of uh, using plow on the front of the tractor. What we use most is a uh, open brush behind the tractor to open those yellow lines for pilots. In tractor, uh, we really appreciate this good driver seat and working environment. You can actually see the plow really easily, really narrow, uh, tight spaces. Uh, tractor is really good. Uh, it's really hard to improve safety uh, any other way but uh, affecting to the driver. And of course, this uh, water logic uh, is really easy to use. So I would say uh, safety is good with tractors. Uh, we have so much those special machines that we do those maintenance and those repairs. But uh, these bulk machines like tractor, we use uh, Akku specialist, our workshop supervisor, calls the local uh, Akku dealer and says that uh, we need to maintenance these machines. And uh, we try to do all our e equipment maintenance in uh, summertime. Tractor has a really low uh, fuel consumption, that's a good thing. And uh, we can use this uh, HVO diesel uh, with our tractors and it has 90% less emissions than regular diesel. It is actually environmental friendly that we have a versatile machine because if we can manage with one machine instead of two, uh, everybody understands it's a huge advantage. We have a T-series tractor and it's excellent uh, for cutting grass and doing lots of uh, easier maintenance job, jobs in winter. Then we have S-series and I think we have one N-series. But I think that after all tells that we need big tractors. When you need a uh, lot of power, like we have this uh, huge U-shape blouse, uh, you need S-series. Uh, also, with those bigger PTO-driven snowblowers, it just got to be S-series. It's a 300 kilowatts what we need. Nothing is enough anyway. In S-series, we have this uh, back driving possibility and it's uh, essential to have if you use that uh, PTO driving uh, snowblower. We buy new tractors, I would say 10 years, but that old tractor just might go to the smaller airports and we find out what exactly they need and what jobs they are uh, planning to do. So that kind of determines uh, whether it's a S-series or T-series. Usually in regional airports it's a T-series. There are some requirements uh, in, in grass cutting, uh, summer use, and there's those stones flying, so uh, windows need to be protected somehow. Uh, here in Helsinki Vanta, I think we have broken four or five glasses. In winter time you don't, don't need that, but you need heat for the windows, especially here in Finland, because our snow is light and it's all over the place. From our experience, you should always pick CVT transmission. Uh, our operators really value that. Autonomy is a big thing in airports right now, and everybody is developing autonomy. Uh, we use AutoGuide uh, when we cut the grass. Uh, not, not yet in winter maintenance because it's lots of lots of uh, harder to do. Everything what help us do right job at the right time. Uh, I would really welcome that kind of technology. I would say in one day I will see autonomous tractor doing winter maintenance, but I'm not sure what year it going to be. What we have found that tractor should always have is this uh, 
really common uh, linkage. Uh, it's a Volvo Optimal link linkage that we can use uh, all uh, plows mixed with every machine. But what is important in tractor when you are using plow and removing uh, tons of snow, you need to have weights in tractor. Sometimes we are a little bit lacking of friction, so we need a heavy tractor. We will definitely will use uh, tractors in future, but what I really would like to see in future is Isobun bus operated sweeper plower behind the tractor. In some airports, you could definitely use a machine like that. We, we need, of course, people to think what is wise to do. We don't have that much of time to always looking for new technologies and new stuff. There could be some kind of information technology uh, helping us to make those decisions. When something new comes to the airport or anywhere else, you have to get people interested of those technologies. Uh, the implementing must be in summer times, uh, spring, autumn. Somebody will welcome everything and is interested, and then we have those opinions that, uh, no, 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 we have done this for 30 years, that this works, no, let's not change anything. I would say in future we have it all. Uh, we will have a diesel, this HBO diesel. Of course, we will have uh, electric working machines, battery machines. But also, if I can predict the future, it will be hydrogen. Uh, we have a huge interest in uh, hydrogen using machines. Big airports like Helsinki Vantaa, we would like to have uh, bigger tractors. Uh, maybe this blue series, it, it is interesting because it goes between S and D series and there could be good uh, market for that. Tractors are quite affordable because they are mass produced. The spare parts, they are reasonably priced and this versatility, I think that makes that cost efficiency.